blessings guys blessings um i just want to give you an encouraging word this morning i pray that it starts your day on a good note i pray that it encourages you and this morning i just hear the lord saying stand your ground stand your ground the Lord is giving us the land. And with that, with that, with him increasing our territory, enlarging our territory, it has come with a lot of warfare. And it can be exhausting. It can feel tiresome. It can feel like you just can't go any more. But God is saying, stand your ground. He's bringing us into a new season. He's bringing us into a new place, a place of promise. And he's teaching us that within warfare, there is a place of rest. Within whatever circumstance we're going through, there is a place of rest. And he really wants to teach us how to tap in, how to um, enter into that place of rest despite what your circumstances are. And God has really been pressing me and teaching me how to tap in, how to be present in this rest while also enduring constant warfare it's been a battle guys it's been a battle i feel like for the last decade it's been extreme warfare non-stop warfare and it's taught me it's taught me to learn to rest within that warfare and I had to realize that I'm either going to learn how to rest in his presence. I'm going to learn how to rest in the fact that the word of God says that he's working all things together for my good. And I'm going to learn how to be present to the peace of God within my warfare. Or I'm going to die. I'm not going to make it. I'm going to give up. I'm going to have a mental breakdown if I don't learn how to rest within warfare. Because warfare, it doesn't let up. The enemy roars, roams around like a roaring lion constantly. And he's not going to let up just because you're tired anything he's gonna go in more so God is teaching us he's he's trying to teach us how to rest and that rest comes in from his perfect peace from his presence from times of worship from hope hope is so powerful the hope that we have in Christ Jesus that he will fulfill every promise that he makes to us he doesn't just he's not like man just speaking um, you know, empty words. If he's given you a promise, you have to partner with him with your belief in that promise. And that should bring you peace. That should bring you hope that propels you forward no matter what opposition you face. So focus on his hope. Focus on the hope that you have in him. Focus on his goodness. Focus on and meditate on everything that is good, everything that is lovely. Focus on how far he's brought you. It may not feel like you're growing. It may not feel like you're moving forward. It may feel like you're stuck or even moving backwards. But I promise you, there has been growth. There has been breakthrough. And you deserve to celebrate that. But the enemy will try to get you to set your sights on something else, on someone else, and you will not experience the joy of the breakthrough that's happening. 
So I encourage you this morning to, to take a look on everything that God has brought you through and how far you've come. And don't be so hard on yourself. You know, I um, immediately, last night, I was thinking, right? And our thoughts just, we have to really take our thoughts captive. We have to learn to take our thoughts captive. And so I was thinking, and all of a sudden, I started thinking about um, a certain person in the body of Christ. And I started um, thinking, oh, like, this person is doing this or has that. And immediately, I... As soon as, like, because I, it came out of nowhere. It came out of nowhere. And it immediately was out of bounds. It was out of, it was out of line. You know, I'm over here, peace, restful, all, you know, at peace. And all of a sudden, this thought just comes out of nowhere and immediately starts putting me into a place of insecurity. It, it took my sight that quick it took my sight from focusing on God focusing on being present with God grateful with God excited with God excited with where I'm heading and it immediately took my focus onto someone else and that immediately switched my whole mindset it took me into a place of feeling insecure of feeling hopeless helpless feeling um, forgotten, left out. And we have to take those thoughts captive, guys. We have to. And God is training us. It's not that he's abandoning us. It's not that he has forgotten about us. It's not that he doesn't love us. It's that he's training us through trials and tribulations, through the sufferings that we endure in this life. He is training us how to overcome and how to strike those things down, how to be, um, you know, sharp, how to endure. We're growing, we're increasing. He's bringing us into greater territory. He's enlarging our territory. It wouldn't be right for him to give us, when we come into a territory, our, our territory is enlarged. It comes with greater responsibility. It requires greater wisdom, maturity, um, and wisdom. And it would not be loving for him to just throw us into this and not be prepared. Everything that you're going through has a purpose to prepare you for what's ahead. So focus on what is good, what is lovely, and what is coming for your future. There is amazing things for us. There are amazing things for us who have been enduring and faithfully seeking the Lord. It's going to be above and beyond what we could even think or imagine. And and he gives us a glimpse of what's ahead. He gives us a glimpse. And that glimpse is just enough to keep me going, guys. It's going to be amazing what God is going to do. It's going to be amazing. So hang in there. Don't give up and focus on the good. Be blessed in Jesus' name.